I mean, what is going on here? Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. For the past few weeks, you guys have nonstop been tagging me in some viral Facebook video posts of a new weird nail polish remover that makes your nail polish pop off like popcorn. Take a look at that shit. Vanish polish, remove your nail polish in just 30 seconds. Beauty gurus are swearing by this revolutionary remover. Really? I have literally not seen one beauty guru talk about this. <laughs> It's like her nail is exploding from the inside. It looks like something out of Stranger Things. Hey, wait a second. Those aren't the same nail. I'm pretty sure that those are nail art blogger Hannah Roxit's nails. <laughs> Hannah, are these your nails? <laughs> 70,000 units sold. That's only because you're a sponsored Facebook post. <laughs> I mean, I guess it worked on me, but... I've also seen more than one version of pretty much what I think is the exact same product. So on Pinterest, I saw this one. Burst nail polish remover is revolutionary. <laughs> now that's what you call rough peel porn. <laughs> right, see, these look like pretty much the same product to me, but they're just selling it under a couple different names. As someone who paints their nails quite often, I've spent a lot of time in my life removing nail polish. Because you have to remove nail polish in order to put more on, you see? I mean, unless you're going to polish mountain. As many of you know, my preference is, at least for my main hand, to use a peel-off base coat. Because it's just the most convenient way for me to be able to quickly pop off my nail polish. And then, I get to keep them in my peely bag! Now, I think most people would agree that using liquid acetone-based nail polish remover is probably the most common nail polish removing solution. Because you just soak it up with a cotton pad, you rub it off, and it's simple, and it just works. We've also seen some more interesting ways to remove nail polish, like those finger tubs, and even some gimmicky nail remover products like Nail Fix and Chill. Oh my god, nail polish is great again! I feel so chill! And spray nail polish remover. Simply spray towards your nails and get it everywhere! Both of which I have made a video on. But this new vanished polish bursting exploding nail shit is something that I've never seen before and I'm intrigued. I really want to know what it's all about. Does it explode more than just the nail polish? That's my main research question. Is this safe? So, let's test it out and see if this thing really works. First off, you should know that I ordered this product from six different suppliers three weeks before filming this video, just when those ads started going viral. I realized that on Amazon, there's actually multiple listings of essentially the same stuff, just under different brand names. You see, they all seem to recycle the same pictures, and they all also seem to ship from China, so I knew it was gonna take a while to get here. And this bottle, is the first of them to come in. All the others are still in transit across the ocean or maybe they got lost in the ocean. I don't know. That's why I got from six different suppliers. <laughs> so I've got Magic Remover Remove Soak Off Gel Polish. So that's the confusing thing. A lot of the listing says remove gel, but then they also said removes any kind of nail polish. So I'm assuming it works for everything if it works for gel because gel is the hardest to take off. If that makes sense. Protect of your hand. I would like to remove with easy, please. -y. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna harp on the label too much. It was obviously just translated from another language and they clearly did not have an English speaking language person uh, proofread it. <laughs> it's, it's fine. This isn't uncommon for a lot of products I buy from overseas, honestly. All right, shall we smell it? Ah! Oh my God, it smells so familiar. What is that? It smells like the substance that I used to use in my dad's car shop like 10 years ago to help make the the paint on rims, like on wheels, peel up so you could refinish them again. So my dad used to own like an auto body shop and I would help with whatever I could, which was usually just like getting coffee and tea. But also I stripped and helped prep wheels sometimes. <laughs> That's just my childhood memories of this I swear, very similar smell. But back to Magic Remover. This stuff has a tint of blue, and it's very thick, it definitely sticks to itself. It almost has a gelatin-like texture, like you can see little rough beads within it. Where are the ingredients on this? They're nowhere. They're not listed. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even find the ingredients on the listing on Amazon. You know, there might be a reason why this says try not to apply it on the skin because it might burn your skin. 
You know, maybe chemicals have changed in the last 15 years in the car industry or in the nail industry, so I'm not gonna conclude that this is something that I used 15 years ago in my dad's shop, but it just smells awfully familiar to me. Hello everyone, voiceover Christine here. Just a quick editor's note I want to share with you. After I filmed this video, I messaged a few of the companies selling this product and asked them for the ingredients. And I got some interesting responses. Sorry, our ingredient list can't be provided. If you have any uncomfortable after using it, please stop using it. Okay. This item, people who are allergic cannot use. Thanks. But I did get one meaningful response. This product is a mixture. There is an organic weak base, absolute ethanol, and cellulose. And at least on the Vanish Polish website, their FAQ lists three ingredients as natural resin, cellulose, and deionized water. Which is interesting because these things don't really sound like ingredients that would cause such a wild chemical reaction in nail polish. Personally, I'm pretty suspicious of all of these products and I think it's really important to point out that I have yet to see a bottle of this stuff by any brand name with the ingredients actually listed on the product. And that makes me question whether this stuff meets any kind of cosmetic safety regulations if the ingredients aren't even listed on it. That and, well, how similar I think this stuff is to paint stripper. Recently, I've also seen some people in the nail polish industry suggest that this stuff might be a harmful industrial solvent. If anyone could offer a scientific explanation for what this stuff is and whether it is actually safe to apply on your nails, I would love to hear it. But for now, just in general, don't use cosmetic products if you don't know what's in them or if you have any reason not to trust the listed ingredients. All right. Who wants to test this shit? <laughs> I've got some regular nail polish, some gel nail polish, a gel nail polish curing lamp, and some swatch sticks because do you think I was really gonna test this shit on my own nails? I refuse to accept the risk of my nails exploding. So first let's try it the way that I think this product was intended, which is for gel nail polish, which is tricky for people to remove at home with regular nail polish remover because it really requires soaking the nail in acetone. Or if you go to a salon, sometimes they'll drill the nail polish off. shit for a minute. I like baking. Actually, no, I don't. I hate baking. You know what I like though? Making overnight oats. <laughs> and while that's curing, let's just do up a swatch with regular nail polish. I added a flaky hollow taco. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Now I'm matching what's on my other hand. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay, are we ready? Everyone say a prayer for this poor, innocent swatch stick that did absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> Automatic splitting, shedding, zero injury, Yeah, me too, Zyler. Those ads made me think it was like an instant explosion, but it's not. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna do this again. So on this particular listing, it actually suggests you're supposed to file the nail down first. That's not how the ads presented it, but... Let's see. Make sure I do a nice, thick, even coat. really not as exciting as I was hoping. <laughs> There's no explosions. Let's try it on regular polish. You can almost hear this. It sounds like crackling. Did I just touch my ear? No! <laughs> I'm not seeing any bursting, but it seems like it's eating at it. Oh wow, oh shit. Okay, that really works. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting, look at the goo. Is this any easier to clean up? <laughs> but you know, these were just swatch sticks. Maybe we need a human subject to test this properly. Man, it's tea time. Nice nails. 
Yeah, thank a you. A little lab rat. <laughs> Ben's been testing products for me. He's testing a long-lasting base coat. <laughs> so it's been long enough. I think we're done with these tests. Did you want to take that off? Yeah, please. I've got just the thing, Ben. Magic remover. Just, a, <laughs> just don't here. mind these guys. Is this human safe? I don't know. It's from Amazon. <laughs> Put a nice thick coat of magic nail polish remover. <laughs> what does it feel like? Do you feel anything? It's really quite cold. It looks like a glue stick. Now it says don't get this on your skin. <laughs> but it doesn't say why. Like it doesn't tell you what's gonna happen. Well, to what's your skin. like in this? There's no ingredients listed in the description. <laughs> well, is there on the bottle? Nope. Well, that's definitely not, <laughs> not FDA approved. <laughs> I'm not even seeing any nail polish popping. Popping? What's what's supposed to happen? It looks like someone's brain is imploding. That's my brain when I watch Troom Troom. Do not put in your body. <laughs> we need to be reminded that, let's be fair. Could you just make a cake and not put nail polish in? No. But do you see how, like, if you look up close, you see a bunch of tiny little bubbles under the surface? It's not dramatically popping off. Well, maybe Hollow Taco nail polish is too high quality and you need to try a different thing. Maybe, you know? Ben. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm relieved or disappointed that... That your nails, <laughs> nails didn't explode. Popping off. <laughs> but yeah. here's the thing, like, if you soaked your nails in acetone for three minutes, it would also come off that easily. Wouldn't that really dry out your fingers, though? Yes, but we also have no idea what this is doing <laughs> to your nails. Bloop! Look, at, it's a peely. It's a very wet peely that I will not be able to keep, though. This one has to go in the garbage, sorry. I'm not gonna collect it. You wouldn't want to contaminate the others. No, exactly. It's not like popping like popcorn. It's slipping slip off slide. like a slip and slide. I think I want to try this with gel polish, though, on real nails, so... On your nails. On your nails. <laughs> so on the swatch sticks, I did the application of nail polish as you should with base, color, and then taco on top. So now on Ben, we're gonna try what happens with regular polish and gel polish, but with no base coat and no taco. That's my uh, scientific approach. <laughs> Take that shit for a minute. Say it with me now. Bake. Bake. <laughs> Ready? I don't wanna get it on your skin. <laughs> I don't see any peelies popping. I don't see any brains exploding. But you can tell there's some sort of reaction and like bubbles coming up. Let's see how this works on gel polish. <gasps> Wait, look, look at it. Ben, look at it. Some ben, look. <laughs> ben, it's popping. <laughs> ben, what the f***? <laughs> what the f***? Do you think my nails are gonna fall off? I don't know, let's, <laughs> let, we gotta see. Manchi, look at this f***ing shit. Look at this. Don't lick it, but look at it. I'm gonna get you in closer. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch, what the f***? This is f***ing crazy, Manchi. <laughs> Don't worry, I never used you as my lab rat. Just Ben. <laughs> this is wild. Science is wild. Look at that. Okay, I thought this shit was bullshit, but this actually looks like what's supposed to happen. You thought this shit was bullshit, yeah. Yeah, good okay. sentence. Yeah. Do you think it's like reacting to my body chemistry? Yeah, maybe it needs a person to resist the host, you know? Like in Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> kind of does look like something from the upside down. Or maybe like you used gel top coat before, right? Maybe it just couldn't cut through Maybe. All the layers. Maybe it only cuts through just the gel polish. This was just one coat of gel polish. No top coat, no base coat. And that's the only way so far we've got it to work. These peelies are really f up. They've seen some things. So you're gonna try it on yourself? Now. Nope. I still don't know the long-term effects of this product. They don't pay me enough to test that shit. Well, how do you feel? How does your nails feel? You feel okay? Are you sick? Is everything okay? You do feel a little warm. Ben, are you okay? I didn't feel any of that reaction or popping or anything though. Like until we looked on the camera and noticed the pinky nail had literally burst open. I didn't feel anything. Good, good. Monster. <laughs> the exoskeleton of an endomorphic sea creature <laughs> is shelling off. Alright, I'm done here. I don't think so. I have one more experiment I want to <laughs> do. 
I want to see what happens if I dump what's left of this bottle <laughs> into a puddle of gel polish. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Tell me you're not curious. I'm a little curious. You're curious. <laughs> Take that shit for a minute. Need all the lights. Cure! I love science. You're like one of those sick doctors that uh, experiments on their patients. <laughs> like the human centipede, Christine. The science queen only tests on band. All right, we're baked. We're baked goods. What? What is that? It's f***ing Frosty the Snowman. Science does mysterious things. Okay, ready? Are we ready for this? Nail. So what happens if I dump out an entire bottle of this stuff? It's like ketchup. More. Ah! <laughs> Spread it around a little. Yo, we have the most interesting life though. <laughs> ben, Christine, what did you do this weekend? <laughs> we watched nail polish remover. Explode! <laughs> anything, anything? Oh, it's a lip. Ah! <laughs> That didn't happen on my fucking nail. Ben, we should do it again. Let's do it on your hands. <laughs> no, get the fuck out of here. It's like the fucking uh, face hugger from Aliens. I have never been terrified of <laughs> nail polish in my life this until now. Lock that shit up. Nope, put it, Ben, put it down. Can you imagine if that got on your skin? <laughs> it did, it probably did get on my skin. Maybe you should wash your hands. <laughs> That's it, it looks like this tin. So what would happen is you'd put this blue gel-like liquid on a wheel that was painted with car paint, and then the paint would bubble up just like that. And then you can strip it And then it you off. can strip it off like very easily, almost like rubbing it off. And that's how we would refinish rims. So are you saying that this product we just used on my nails is indistinguishable to you from what you use to strip paint well, off cars and aircrafts? <laughs> I'm not a scientist and I- Oh no. <laughs> And I don't know the ingredients of this, so I can't cross-reference them with this stuff. But just going off of my experiences as a teenager in a car shop, they perform very similarly. But that's horrifying, right? Like, the second result when you searched for this on Google is a CBS News article, Deaths Linked to Common Paint Stripper. So why isn't it banned? I can't claim that, you know, this in particular is dangerous because I don't know, but honestly, it's just not worth the risk would be my advice. Yeah, I mean- I'm scared now. Why are you scared? I don't want to use it. <laughs> I'm scared for you. In some ways, I'm glad that we ended up testing this so we could deliver this message to others because there's going to be so many people who watch those videos, don't question what's in the product, or even like realize that it's similar to something like Paint Stripper and they're just gonna use it. I think we need to encourage people not to use this product, especially if it is not labeled. Like, it didn't come with a box or anything that nope, says- No, it literally need. came just like that in a bubble mailer. I think it's a pretty simple rule to follow that, like, you shouldn't use stuff if you don't know what's in it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, please give this video a like because Ben put his life on the line. So I might have trouble convincing Ben to be in any future video experiments. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all later. Bye.